That was a great win for Frankston, and let's see if they can carry the momentum going into Dream Street Lending Arena. Well, we're underway here at Frankston. The tip is controlled by Nanawati, and Tony Adu gets inside, overshoots the ball. Reed sees Brown slashing to the basket. Way off. Reed opened up the eyes. Saw D'Angelo at the bucket. A great pass and great vision from Reed, and a greater make there from D'Angelo. Setting her teammates up. She's putting them in wonderful positions as well to get those buckets. Beautiful step through foresight. And credit to the Spectres just to edge their way back into it. As Brown comes out, sets the pick for Reed. She hits from deep to open her scoring account. And now the Blues are in transition. Reed from the elbow. It's good. That was a really disappointing sequence there from the Spectres on the offensive ends. The Scherf dribbling, dribbling off the glass and in. Didn't need Brown in the ends. Take a break as Reed left wide open for three. This time gets it to drop to make my man sitting next to me feel just that little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Out of context sounds, but. <laughs> Reed. Reed, she's got the shot clock down to five. Oh, and goes the lefty. All right, so here's Antoniadu in the corner. Fella for three. So Reed leads everyone with 17 points. D'Angelo and Brown have 10 apiece. <laughs> Kennedy Hopoate still going. No look to Zempare. Dean Kinsman has seen enough. Calls for time. Reed, D'Angelo had enough time there in the corner. Reed inside, fakes one out. Now D'Angelo's got another opportunity all by herself. She's had a brilliant night on offense, Chelsea D'Angelo. I think that's 18 turnovers for the Spectres. Reed for three. She liked it as soon as it left her hand. Home the next day to take on Geelong and Frankston next week They're but that's what you want to see from your juniors as well as Frankston they dominated this contest here at Dream Street Lenning Arena tonight they come away with an 85-59 victory